there is a famous song by Eminem and it made some reference like don't touch little boys like Michael and had a music video where he had a, like a Michael Jackson look like throw his nose across a bed or for a right. wall. I thought, wow. So you're going to sue him? Right, so what were some of the most brutal things you saw Michael Jackson doing business? Cool. He, he would, okay. Well, it, the way he would uh, be tough, he wouldn't show that to the staff, but it would, it, he had hundreds of staff. He would talk to his PA and I'd hear him screaming, that person's fired, that's it now and this, and they got to meet this target. Um, we would go to, I'll give you an example, local example. We'd go to the big HMV that was in Oxford Street and he didn't want anyone to know. And I used to say to him, do you want to get it shut down? Because he could, because Michael Jackson was shut it down for him. That was a normal procedure when we go out. He said, no, 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 I want to check that Sony Music are distributing my records properly and the quality of the, of the CDs are good. So me, Mike, and one other bodyguard would jump out of a car. Mike would go in at HMV, and then people were like, whoa, flipping heck. He would go straight to the Michael Jackson section. The people were just going through the, the DVDs, like history, dad, bad, filler, off the wall. And they'd be like, hi, how are you? And then they would just check. And like, okay, yeah. And before you know it, after about five minutes, the escalators had to be shut off. Oxford Street was shut. And then we have to go to the back of the fire, fire exit and wait for police to help us get him out of the, of the situation. So he would check on his distribution company to make sure. The other thing, examples too, there was a famous song by Eminem after the, after the trial. And it made some reference, like don't touch little boys like Michael and had a music video where he had a, like a Michael Jackson look like throw his nose across a bed or for a right. wall. And I watched that with Michael and he didn't have much of a reaction to it. And I thought he would be angry or he would, um, he said to me, um, I, I really respect Eminem. I've never met him, Matt. And uh, Well, after watching that, he said he respected no, him. No, yeah, he said, I really respect him. I'm mm. sad to see this because I, as an artist, I respect what he's done. I've never met the guy. But he said, it is what it is, and that's that. And then I, I thought, wow, so you're going to sue him? I said, nah. He used to say, leave him to the heavens. Anyway, about a month later, his best friend, Mark Lester. Now, Mark played the original Oliver Twist. Remember the Please Sir, Give Me More? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The original one. There's been a few since then. And um, he's exactly the same age as Michael and they grew up together. So when Michael was in the media, Jackson 5, Mark Lester was big time. So they were close friends for years. So he goes back, it's Michael Jackson's best friend, basically. So I was with Mark, was, I was with Mark Lester in Cheltenham, that's where Mark lives. So Mark said, um, you know what Mike's done? I said, no, what's he done now? He's, um, he's bought all of Eminem's music. I said, Are you sure? I said, yeah. Some kind of revenge thing. I said, I said, all right. And he didn't know much about it. But next time I was with Michael, I was with him the following week. I said, Michael, have you bought Eminem's music? He said, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, you know what? You know, I thought about that video and it was wrong. Uh, I was sick of lawsuits. I've had them all my life. He said, uh, I just bought all his songs. So now every time he wants to play, he has to ask me permission and I get paid. <laughs> how, yeah. how is that physically is possible? That, that's F you money, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> but how, how is that physically possible though? Like how can you just go and buy someone as, as big as Eminem songs? Because surely they're owned by a label or they're owned by him personally. Because he's so damn rich. And you reckon? He's yeah. Michael Jackson. He's, he owned half of Sony Music, basically. Yeah. Didn't he buy the, um, the Beatles. Beatles as well? Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, and that went on to be like, I got sold for a billion dollars, I believe, recently. So that was his, Paul McCartney said, you should invest in music. It's the greatest investment in the world. And Michael said, I'm going to buy your songs. And it just so happened the Beatles didn't own their own music. Mm. And um, when they came for sale, Paul was bidding for it and Michael outbid him. Yeah, that was an interesting, <laughs> that was the end of their friendship. That I, was it. That was like, I just can't believe that that's even possible that they would let that happen, that it can just fall into someone's hands like that yeah. at, the, at the price of a yeah, beer. Yeah, like. I mean, it's happened, um, it, it did happen with, with Taylor Swift and Scooter mm. Braun in the recent years as well, didn't it? He, he brought up all of her songs, I believe. Mm, I just thought I think he owned them from the start and then she made Taylor's versions, didn't she? Yeah. And you yeah. can stream those. So the fans decide to stream hers instead of the, but the, the record company. See, when you start off in music, you've got no money or nobody. You get promised the world. You sign yeah. to record company. You give them ownership of everything. Mm -hmm. it, getting it back is like, once you've made it, it's almost impossible. Yeah, so but then they go and sell it. Then that, oh, okay. Then they go and sell it. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking that because surely that's then that's the label's cash cow. So why are they going to want to sell it? Well, because you get that upfront money, right? Yeah, I guess so, but I didn't. I wouldn't think they'd be done with it. So, like, just like. Justin Bieber sold about a year ago a load of his That's back right. catalogue as well. Yeah, no, yeah, of course. No, I'm, I'm just trying to educate myself on it. I'm not saying it's not true. I just don't understand how it works. I, I would like to know, but yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's just another investment strategy in which Paul McCartney taught him and he was, uh, he knew the right, the right contacts to make it happen and he did it, yeah. 